We will now do this, petrify. Oh, you died! Yo, what's up guys? I'm Black Hero, and in this video, we're going to be doing a test run on Ovago Mundo, or as we all know him as Zong Li. Alright, so Zong Li has just descended upon us. And if you do the test run, you also get 20 Primo Gems. But also, why would you not want to test out this guy? As with everyone should say, before you wish, test. So we're going to do that right now. And I can't wait. I can't wait. On your first pull. Wow. All right. So my Sara just got Zongli on. Well, congrats. Congrats. All right. So we're going to do a character showcase of our test run Zongli. So he looks pretty cool. All right. I'm like, look at this. Look at this freak! Alright, he's he's his bando material, definitely. I'm like, he's freaking awesome, freaking. I'm like, have you seen the the PV? Have you have you seen the PV? All right, Zongli, do something. Oh, this, and then you do the the, the planet befall. Now that that's epic. That is epic. All right, so we're gonna actually see right here. Attribute. So right now he's level 18, max HP is 23,000. While well, attacks 1400 ish, defense 651, elemental master. I think they're all the same. All right, prototype grudge. Interesting. Interesting choice of weapon. Makes you want to craft this. I think this is a craftable weapon. Uh, after using an elemental skill, increase normal and charge attack damage by 8% for 12 seconds and uh, has a max of two stacks. That's at refinement rank one. Artifacts is Braveheart as always. You know the test run. It's always Braveheart. All of this is Braveheart. And then for constellation, all right, we'll do constellation later. We'll look at talents first. So for her nor for his normal attack, Rain of Stone. Yo, welcome, Sir Jorel and Paramon, the Gad. Hello, hello. All right, we're doing a showcase of video of Zongli. He's pretty cool, looking as of right now. So he performs up to six consecutive. Wow, six. Goes all the way up to six. Wow. Normal attacks, Rain of Stone. Normal attack performs up to six consecutive spear strikes. So skill. Wow, okay, goes all the way up to 93.2% on the six spear strikes. So I bet the attack speed on this is relatively fast. Charge attack consumes a certain amount of stamina. Plunging attack. Okay. Damage enemies along the path and dealing AoE damage upon hit. So first, the second, third, third, okay. So stamina cost 25, plunge damage 109, high low plunge. All right, Dominus Lapidus. All right, every mountain, rock, and inch of land is filled with the low power of Geo. But, but, those who can wield such powers freely are few and far between. So when you do a press, all right, commands the omnipresent power of the earth to solidify into a stone steely, dealing AoE geo damage. Additionally, the stone steely will resonate with other geo constructs in the vicinity, dealing geo damage to surrounding enemies. The stone steely, am I saying that right? Is considered a geo construct and can both be climbed and used to block attacks. Only one may exist at any time, depending on your constellation, I guess. Hold causes nearby geo energy to explode, causing the following effects. Creates a shield of jade. The shield's damage absorption scales based on Zongli's max HP and absorbs geo damage 250% more effectively. Alright, so if you're against geo enemies, then yeah, this shield is gonna be unbeatable. Causes AoE geo damage as well. If there are nearby targets within a geo element, it will jade drain a large amount of geo element from a maximum of two such targets, this effect does not cause damage, but it drains their geo element. Okay, so planet befall. Wait, what? this is also interesting. So stone steely resonant damage, 25, 51%. Press cooldown, four seconds on the press. All right, the whole damage, 128%. Shield of base absorption, 2311. Additional shield, now this is this is base absorption, all right? Additional shield absorption is 20.5% of your max HP because as you know, his talents are all at level eight. Shield duration is 20, wow. Wow, look at that. Cooldown is less than the duration of the actual shield. So basically you can actually combo shield and steel eye, which is pretty interesting. And that's a long, that's a long shield, 20 seconds. All right. <laughs> okay, but who else wants to marry Zongling? Like, have you seen how he looks? Yes, his voice. His sexy voice. Sexy voice. Alright, so he has a petrification duration of... Okay. Alright, so 3.8 seconds. 
So Planet Befall brings a falling meteor down to Earth, dealing massive geo damage. The opponent's caught in its AoE and applying the petrification status to them. Alright, petrification opponents affected by the petrification status cannot move. So yeah, you're petrified. How long though? 3.8 seconds. Skill damage 770%. Cooldown 12 seconds. Wow, you could you can spam this every 12 seconds. For almost four seconds of petro that's that's good. That's good. Alright, so if you get this guy to Ascension 1, you unlock his passive talent called Resonant Waves. When the Jade Shield takes damage, it will fortify. Fortified characters of a 5% increased shield strength can stack up to 5 times, basically 25% shield strength increased, and last until the Jade Shield disappears for 20 seconds. Yeah, so Ascension 1 must have, I mean, you'll, you'll get Ascension 1 regardless. And yeah, it's just gonna make your shield even stronger. Dominance of Earth, when you reach Ascension 4, this will be unlocked. Planet Befall deals additional damage equal to 33% of Zhongli's max HP. So uh, you can see where this is going. You want to build HP on this guy if you want to deal the most damage out of his meteorites. Or it's a planet. Apparently it's a planet. And then he is a... Oh, okay. He's an acronym of crystal. Refunds 50% of the ores used when crafting polearm type weapons. So yeah, if you're crafting polearms, alright? So if you have a Xin Xiangling and you want a crescent pike on her. Or if you want to craft this weapon called the prototype grudge. You get your all back, 15% of it. <laughs> Change his voice to English. Alright, we'll, we'll try that, we'll try that. Yeah, this guy pretty much replaces a healer. Alright, healer value becomes zero. Alright, so we're pairing him with Kaeya and Lisa. Alright, let's try this, guys. Alright, first things first, I want to test out this shield. You've seen the promotional video, right? Hold. Okay, alright. 20 seconds of shield, come on, hit me. Nothing! I feel nothing! Alright, we need more enemies on the on the field. Alright. Okay, let's try the charge. You guys seen this? That is cool. Can you do that? Like Yeah, there you just have to be wow. Okay, alright, alright, alright. Let's get a steel eye up. Alright, we got a steel eye up. We can climb it, it takes two jumps, and then you can do a shield. Alright, plunge attack. Wow, okay, how about this? His sixth combo. Alright, I can't change his voice right now. Oh, that is cool when he drops the spear. Alright, we got Planet Before ready, guys. Alright, normally you want to test him out. Look, the shield is lasting a long time. My health is... Okay. Alright, normally this is why Lisa's here, so you can test out this. Alright, I can focus on my charge attack. Alright. Let's gather up a bunch of people. There is a there is a big guy. Alright, oh, you can test this. Oh look at that. Okay. Okay. Alright, let's do the Oh that is. Oh this guy's petrified. Oh, so you do Planet Befall, and then you do Burst. Okay, alright, let's actually start comboing people. While in the shield, you also get Geo stuff. Interesting. Very, very interesting. How about this? Okay, so we got this guy. Alright, so there's four people left. Let's try to get that Planet Befall back. I want to try that combo right now. So we got Planet Q, our burst is ready. So how this works is, okay, let's get this shield. I still have a shield on, okay. Over here, over here, over here. Okay. Good, gather up here, everyone. Gather up here. All right, let's get a Steel Eye up. Beautiful, okay, that's it. So I can just, you know, tell them to come here. Okay, good. All right, let's do this. Boom. Oh, great. Why did you? Why did you? Why did you teleport? You're you're the reason why I wanted to test that. Come on. All right, there we go. Let's try to get this up again. One last try. And you know you've been annoying. That is. That is cool. That is cool. All right. So it's just you and me now. Just you and me. Alright, how does your shield stack up against me? Alright, so yeah, the damage output is higher than obviously. 
Ah, your shield is back. Where did you go? Can I hit you with this? You can, okay. Alright, let's end this off with a nice bang. See? Shield down. Alright, hello. We will now do this. Petrify. Oh, you died? Why? I wanted to try that thing that you saw in the promotional video. That was pretty cool. So there you guys have it. That is pretty much Zhongli. Alright. I'm like, if you build him differently and you learn him, I'm like, he's relatively easier to use as compared to Tartaglia when I tried him out for the first time. Yeah, this guy... This guy is cool. This guy is pretty cool. I can't wait to actually summon him, which will be happening right after this. So there you guys have it. So hopefully you guys did enjoy this video. That is Zhongli, test run level 80. And yeah, if you're wishing for him, then all the best, all the luck in Tevat. And if you already got him, congratulations. Congratulations. I'm pretty sure he's going to be one, if not of the most OP characters in the game as of currently. Alright, until next time guys, I'm Black Hero. See ya. Alright, cause you know as with all other YouTubers say, eh? Alright, before you wish, test. I guess that's a thing now. <laughs> Good, gather up here everyone. Gather up here. Alright, let's get a steel eye up. Beautiful. Okay, that's it. So I can just, you know, tell them to come here. Okay, good. Alright, let's do this. Boom.